Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Have you ever wanted to dynamically add input fields in your Angular application with just a click of a button? Well, you are in the right place. Today we are diving deep into creating dynamic input fields using Angular reactive forms. Whether you are creating a questionnaire, a survey, or just an interactive user interface, this tutorial is going to be a game changer for you. So let's get started. All right, this is my Angular project running. This is very simple, basic, empty Angular project. So we will start from here. So very first thing that you need to do is, first of all, you need to import the Angular reactive form. For that, add reactive forms module. Make sure to import it from Angular slash forms as well. All right, now, go to the app component.ts file and let's create a form but before that i need to create a constructor and i am going to inject the service form builder okay make sure to import it from angular slash forms now i will define a property And I'm going to save the form group in that form. And in this object, I'm going to define the properties that I want in that form. There is, uh, in my case, there is going to be only one property that is items. And this item is going to be fp.array. This is just a form array. Okay. Now, Go to the HTML, we will create a div and give it the form group. And now, here I need to create a div and here I will add form array name and then I will give it the name of the property that contains the array. So this is the name item, so we will give it that name. Now, in that div i will add another div and here i will add ng4 let items of i need to get so this is item of items this items property does not exist yet so i need to define a getter here with that name So as you know that uh, with the getter, you don't need to call a uh, function. It is just, you can just access it like a variable like this. You don't need to add a parenthesis here. So once that is done, I will return this dot form dot get items and as form array. Make sure to import the form array from Angular slash modules, uh, Angular slash forms. So we just written the form uh, items array and we are typecasting it to the form array. So now here we have access to that item, but still we need to get the controls. So the controls is an array of the controls that we need to use. So here you will use, uh, but we need to define the index. Let i is equal to index here I will add form form group name and make sure to wrap it in the square bracket so that we could use the JavaScript variable I here now in here I will add few inputs name and form control name is the name and type is also text second input is going to be age and third is going to be the delete button let me add some styling here so i will add style display flex gap 20 pixel or 10 pixels okay and I will wrap it in another div. Actually, it's fine. And here I will add the margin bottom. 
okay now we need to implement the delete function so let's create a delete item function index we are receiving the index as the parameter and now we will call a function remove at uh, this function is available out of the box in the form array because this dot items is returning us the form array so we can use the remove add function and it expects an index we have passed that index we received from the parameter next we need to define a function add item so this add item function will push the uh, form group instead of form control let me change it here i need name and age so whenever user uh, call this add item function we will insert another form group in this form array and this would reflect in the real time so let's give it a try here i need to call a function on click delete item and give it the index okay and here on the top i would like to add a button add button and we will on click we will call a function add item let me add some style here as well width 100 percent height 100 vh display flex and justify content center and align item center and flex direction column and gap should be 20 pixels okay so now let's click on the add button you can see we have some data here age you can add it again you can delete it as well let's display the data in the form of json in stringified form right now you can see that we have an object with the property items that has an empty array i will add few items and you can see we have multiple objects in that array and if you make some changes you will see that specific object being updated in the real time so this is how we made it very reactive okay you can also set the type of the age to number as well if you want to so in this way you will not be able to type any text in it now at the end if you would like to get the data and you want to submit to the backend or your backend api server you can just create a function like submit and here you can console.log this dot form dot value this is how you will get the json you can pass this value to the http client as well if you are using it so let's uh, create a button submit here and we'll call the submit function on click so let's give it a try open the inspect element and let's add few items you can see we have two items in the array okay i will add few more submit this time we have four items in that array you can also delete one and you can submit it again and you can see the different number here all right a simple and efficient way to dynamic create input fields in angular using reactive forms remember the power of angular reactive form is immense and today we just scratched the surface there is so much more you can do with it if you found this tutorial helpful please give it a thumbs up share it and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for more awesome videos if you have any questions or suggestions drop them in the comments below we always love hearing from you thanks for watching and happy coding